Hey everyone, this is Julia from Crocoblock and in today's tutorial we're going to display the count of posts containing the specific term. So if you ever wondered how to do that, just keep watching. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, consider doing that. And now let's get started. Before we proceed, make sure you have the Jet Engine plugin installed and activated and also terms added to the WordPress post or CPT. We will create a counter of the WordPress posts that contain only the needed terms by using the SQL query built with the Jet Engine plugin. Here are the terms I created for my posts. To check what categories you have, just go to the WordPress dashboard – Posts – Categories. The first step will be creating a query for posts with the specific value in the term. Go to Jet Engine Query Builder. Click on the Add New button to create a new query. Fill in the name field and select the SQL Query option as Query Type in the General Settings tab. Scroll down to the Custom SQL Query tab. Choose Terms in the From Table field and activate the Use Join switcher. In the Join tables, press the Add New button to open the settings. Let's set the Join type to Inner Join. The join table represents the database table that will be connected, so pick the Term Taxonomy option. In the When Current Table column and Is Equal to Base Table column field, choose the Term ID option. Move on to the following Where tab and press the Add New button. In the column, select Terms Name, then set Like as Compare Operator and complete the value field with the term Slug. The value should represent the term for which you want to show the count on the front end. Now scroll down to the Include Columns field and complete it with the term Taxonomy Count value. Finally, you can press the Add Query button to finish the setup. Now open a page where you want to add a counter or create a new one. Once the page is opened in the Elementor Page Builder, find the Counter widget in the search bar and add it to the section. In the Content tab, find Ending Number. Press the Dynamic Tags button and find the Dynamic Function item. Now choose the SQL query result in the function and find the Term Taxonomy count in the Query column drop-down list. Finally, set the additional function to Sum. And of course, don't forget to change the title and style the widget as well. Let's check how it looks on the front end. The counter shows number 6. And if I open my categories, you will see that it includes three categories that share the same value. So it's vacation category itself and both Vacation Rentals and Vacation Rentals tips. But what if you want to get results only for one specific term? There is an easy way to do that. Return to Query Builder and find the query you have built before. Open it and scroll down to the Joint Tables tab. Here you can delete the set clause and create a similar one, but this time leave the compare field empty. Now we will press the update query button and head to the front end to check the result. I'm gonna refresh the page and the counter shows 
two posts now. Let's double check the categories and yeah, this time the counter excluded these two categories. So vacation has two posts and this is exactly what my counter shows. Let me go back to the query and change the value to vacation rentals. The counter displays number 3. And if I check the categories page, we will see that it has the same number of posts. And this will be it for today's tutorial. Now you know how to display the count of the posts containing particular needed WordPress terms using JetEngine's Query Builder functionality. Give us a thumbs up if this video was helpful for you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.